Hey friends, welcome to today's video. <clears throat> so as the title says, I'm gonna be going over the, the three things I don't like about this U-Force 1000 XL. Full disclosure, this is my machine, I love it. And these three things aren't even really that negative. Uh, I just, I wanted to share some things to, to let people know. Maybe they're looking for this machine, maybe they're looking at other ones. Um, if you want, go check out my video. I've got another video where I talk about the three reasons why you should buy this machine. Uh, you know, my three favorite things about it. And so, but before we do that, I want you to like, subscribe, comment. Do you have a U-Force? If you don't, um, you know, what machine do you have? Maybe you like that. Is there a feature you like about it? Let me know. Uh, so first we're gonna get right into is the ground clearance. And the ground clearance is simply because it's a crew cab or a six seat side by side plus a dump bed so the whole machine is really long right we jokingly call it the limousine and so what happens is if you get into a steep breakover angle you know if there's any kind of you're going over a sharp hill or if there's a big rock or something like that because it's so long by the time the front breaks over that angle of that hill or the rock or whatever the back will the back end of the machine sometimes will get hung up and you can get high centered or have a rock you know smash the bottom of your machine which sounds worse than it is but it's, it's not fun and so i'm just going to show you real quick it going over this this hill right here show you how close it is um, so here's that a quick shot of it rolling over the hill you can see how close it is as the rear tires come up all right now let's go i'll show you right now i'm parked on that same hill just wanted to show you <clears throat> right so i mean this is my my fist and this hill isn't even that steep and this isn't even a big bump right the rear tires are in the trough front tires are up over on top of the hill you can see how i mean as we get here it's really only a fist and a half it's not very not a ton of ground clearance and so when all four tires are up on the hill it's great right if you got all four tires on the same on the same level it's awesome but so it really struggles sometimes when you hit these sharp breakovers or if there's a rock and you get your front over it and you start to go down the hill you you because it's so long you lose ground clearance quickly instead of a short wheelbase where the tires are closer together and they actually will go over the obstacle almost at the same time if that makes any sense all right let's go check out the next thing So second thing I second thing I don't love is the factory skid plate, right? It's kind of along the same lines of the ground clearance not being ideal. But the factory skid plate is plastic, which is fine, but it's just really thin, cheap plastic. And I know that can be remedied. There's other, there's, you know, manufacturers out there making aftermarket skid plates. Uh, but I think for the price point of this machine, they, they gave you an adequate skid plate, but not a great one, if that makes any sense. So it does okay, but the second you, uh, you know, hit any rocks or there's any hard stumps, I've actually ripped it off a couple of times, had to gone up under there, bolt it back up, and I actually broke, broke a bolt head off of, off of one of the bolts that holds it on. So it's okay, but definitely in the near future, we'll be trying to get a thicker plastic one or possibly an aluminum one of course the radiator fan just kicked on so yep so next is the third the third and final thing that i don't love about this machine is something that i think happens to a lot of the u-force specifically um i know these other things have been issues that are kind of common they could be on any machine right this third one is specific to the u-force all right let's go for a ride it's beautiful out here and i'm getting eaten alive by bugs So this brings me to the 
third and final thing that I don't love about the U-Force 1000. And that is the random hard starting. So if anybody else, if any of you guys have a U-Force, you know exactly what I'm talking about if you already have one. So I found, sorry, bugs out here, bad. Um, if you don't let the fuel pump prime, if you turn the key on and just, just turn the key and crank it right away, sometimes it'll crank for five, 10 seconds extra, right? It'll do it way longer than it should. And what I've found, I don't really think there's a fix as of yet. It could be a software update or something right now that I'm not aware of, or maybe they fixed it on the newer ones because this is a 2022. <sighs> bug in my mouth and <clears throat> what i found is if you turn the key let the pump fully prime like and let the fuel pump go zzz, until it stops then turn the key crank the engine over and it seems to help and it does it warm cold doesn't matter at least on mine so you know C cf moto there they make a great product but i think just there's little things like that where they just need to tweak them they just need to fine tune them um, and then they'll have an exceptional product. I don't know if you can see these black flies around here. This is crazy. So another one in my mouth. Let me try to show you real quick. All right, guys, I was getting swarmed. There was a little creek back there that the black flies were just all over me, right? So I just wanted to show you <clears throat> when you turn the key on, you'll hear the fuel pump run. I don't know if you can hear it. Ready? That were. And again, this is warm. I've been out riding around enjoying this beautiful day. Let it whir, let the pump fully prime, then turn the key. And you can hear that it fired right up, didn't, didn't cause an issue, right? So sometimes when it's hot or cold, doesn't matter. If you just turn it on and start cranking right away, I don't know if the fuel pump can't catch up or if it's just a software you know something in the ecu i don't know but that's my one issue i'll see if i can replicate it you know no guarantees because it's super random it'll sometimes it'll do it sometimes it won't so he, it, machine's off right now i'm just going to turn the key and crank it no it did it fine that time but if i can get a shot of it doing it i'll post it again maybe on a short or something like that but time to get home time for lunch all right guys stay safe make sure if you like this video subscribe hit the like button comment down below you know what machine you got if you have a cf moto tell me if, whether you like it or not is there something issues you had let other people know um i also wanted to tell you i've got awesome content on my whole channel right not just power sports stuff we've got parts and accessories i've also got some fitness videos and it's all about just enjoying life and you know, progressing yourself, getting better each and every day, but still taking the time to enjoy the things you like, whether it's outdoors, hunting, fishing, you know, four wheeling, motorcycles, uh, working out, spending time with your family. It's all good stuff. You'll find it here on this channel. So like I said, subscribe, share it with somebody else and uh, we'll see you guys later. All right. Work that time. Oh, well. See ya.